Welcome, Eurovision fans. So, it's time for San Marino. I don't know what to expect. The song is called Freaky, so I imagine it's going to be very interesting. Um, yeah, San Marino did very good. Best result ever with Sir Hot. Sir Hot, I've always enjoyed. Uh, 2016, I absolutely loved I Didn't Know. Until they turned it into disco. I do not like disco. I never have. Um, turning the ballad, because the ballad was nice and it was creepy. and it, I, th I think a lot of people liked the disco better, but people still didn't really love the song. Um, I didn't like when they turned it into disco. I will never be a disco fan. It's just not me. Um, it, I understand like people liking the the music and the beat and all that, but I, it just it's never been something that I've enjoyed. And when they did that to Surhat, I didn't like it. Last year, though, eh, say no, 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 it was just fun. I don't know. It still sounded disco-ish, I guess, but it was it was still it was fun. I, I enjoyed it. So Surhat gets my seal of approval. So let's check out Sin Hit, who sounds like Sir Hot in name, and uh, <laughs> see San Marino. Let's go to Valentina Moneta's backyard. San Marino. Yeah, this sounds very disco <laughs> Good when we're freaky, freaky, freaky. I can actually see this becoming a guilty pleasure of mine. I don't know why. <laughs> very energetic <sighs> musically interesting I'm gonna be completely honest the lyrics are terrible <laughs> this is the worst song of the year as far as the lyrics go but that's not that important it's a lot of fun I'm happy for the people that'll find joy in this um, 
I think it's going to be very interesting on the stage. Definite possible qualifier for San Marino. <sighs> My taste in music? No, not at all. Uh, being completely honest. Um, but I do see guilty pleasure potential to where I end up liking it before the contest is over because there are elements in here that I really do enjoy. I'll compare it to Space with Slavko. Didn't like it at first, came to really enjoy it later on. I it Now it just makes me smile every time I hear it. I think this could also be this year's Slavko, Montenegro. Uh, I really do. Uh, it's It's fun. I enjoy the fun. And though I'm not a fan of the disco sound and... Uh, I'm a little square when it comes to that, you know, I, I will admit, I don't get much from disco type, I, I like meaningful lyrics, I like songs that are meaningful, I like the ethnic sounds, I, I like different, um, <laughs> this is different, but, um, I don't know. It's not within my musical tastes. I'll say that. I'll be completely honest. People will call me out left and right if I'm not completely honest. You're just trying to be nice. No, this is not in my musical tastes. It, it, it's kind of, <laughs> in my mind, just a big old clusterfuck, but it's also kind of cool. They took so much time making the video. It looks like it's so artistic and unique. I respect that. So though I'm not a big fan of the song per se, I respect the art that went into it, the art that went into making it. And I think this has a shot to qualify for San Marino. I think a lot of people will enjoy this. It's a, another anthemic song, and if they can do staging and make it fun and she can sing live, which uh, from what I've understood, she's done musical theater productions and stuff all around the world with The Lion King. I think I read that. So she is a serious artist and can go up there and sing so she can sing live and she's got the musical theater background to bring this song to life san marino could top last year and do even better i don't know um or the jury like it maybe will the televoters i think the televoters will like it more than the jury we'll just have to see i think it is an interesting entry from san marino and uh you know, it's one of the reasons I watch Eurovision is just to see the craziness, to see the, the fun. Um, <laughs> oh, it's a, uh, it's a breath of fresh air, even if I may not be in love with the song myself. <laughs> I will enjoy it regardless. I can assure you that. So, what do you think of Freaky? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you dislike it? Meh. And will San Marino qualify? I think so. I think this has a shot. It's going to stand out. It's completely different. Freaky, freaky, freaky. I can already see that being a meme. It probably already is. I kind of stay away from memes, so I don't know. <laughs> but uh, very interesting. I I don't know where it will end on my list. You know, it might, might crawl up pretty high. Um, yeah, it's not going to get past the halfway point, but, you know, it's it's not going to be the bottom either. This is definitely not my least favorite song of the contest. I can sit through it and listen to it and think in a little bit I'll come around to enjoy it quite a bit. We'll see. Okay, for now, Lethargic Sloth, 